All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a tutorial on how to get custom skins and avatars and cars in Trackmania Nations Forever. It's a really simple process, actually, and it's a good idea that I do it in 2019, as opposed to the ones that you'll find on YouTube and other places that are outdated and require steps that don't really apply for today's standards. So let's get right into it. First things first, open your file explorer, go into your documents. In that uh, documents folder, you're going to find another folder called Trackmania. Uh, for the other games that Nadeo makes, I'm sure there's other folders for them. So you just follow the same steps, just with the different file names. So you're going to Trackmania. Uh, find this uh, folder that says Skins. And open that. In Vehicles, you're going to go there next. Alright, so now that you're in Vehicles, there's going to be a folder called Car Common. I highlighted it. And what you're going to have to do, since it's not going to be there when you try to look for it yourself, you're going to have to right click, new folder. Or you can just click new folder up here. Doesn't matter. So you're going to name it car common specifically as it's written right here. And since I already have it, I just, I'm just i just going to press no. And we're going to delete the new folder that is still there for me. But for you, it's going to save as car common. So when you go in here, all, this, all these, they'll be gone. It'll be empty. So, in order to get your cars, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to Google or whatever internet browser you have. You're going to go to Trackmania Car Park. I have it bookmarked. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. So, you're going to go and go to this really cool site. And it has anything you could ever want. Like this. Here's 2D skins. 2D skins. You can get for like uh, 3D models that you have of cars you download like here. So, like let's say, okay, for reference, let's say you have this one. NSX GT3 right it's a Kira but let's say somebody made a skin for it so that way you can have different versions of this car it's like right here there's 2d skins you can click on it you can get the 3d uh, version of that skin and you have to mount it and stuff but I wouldn't I don't do that personally I just get like the full 3d model and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and download the 3d model like here you're gonna click download Give it a second. There you go. 13 megabytes. So, when that's done downloading, what you're going to need to do. Nope, not close that. So, you're going to take that folder file in the folder. So, wait for the download. You're going to show in folder. So, that way you can have access to it. Take it. You're going to cut. So, you're going to go straight into your car common folder. Right click. Paste. Simple as that. So you have you now have your NSX GT3, right? And you want to use it. Well, how do you do that? So simply, you're just going to go to Trackmania. There we go. Give it a second. There we go. Sign in. Go to your profile, vehicles, and these are all my cars. Like there you go. You have that. There it is. The NSX GT3. You have other ones like Airwing. Uh, this one, Corvette, Ferrari, and Fireball. I have other ones too, but for this reference, we're going to use the NSX. And go back, back, and test it out. A little bit to load. It's loading the first track in a long time. There you go. Now it's rushing. Uh, hello. There you go. So you're just gonna go right into it. Uh, none. See, so there we go. Got a beautiful track. There we go. There it is. This works with any of the 3D models that you get from Trackmania Car Park, and that's why I love my uh, one Lamborghini so much. So yeah, runs perfectly fine. Yep. So that's just basis of it. Runs fine. And for different cars or models, you can get uh, parts of it where they make different noises and effects when you do certain things. Like here we go. Let's go into my vehicles folder. And so we have, let's say, 
uh, Sonic, right here. This one, since it's a different model of a car, the creator of it, I forgot who it is, I'll have to find him and link it in the description. Uh, you have his legs, which act as the tires in the car, but his hitbox is also smaller, so that way it's relative to his size. So you're just going to take him, press back, go to solo, or however you want to do it. So go to a track. Okay, so, I'm going to go right into it with the race. Two, one, go. So you can see right here, I'm here as well, like Sonic, he has his own animation for uh, running or driving. And his feet also pitter-patter on the floor. And that'll be that. That's all you have to do. It's not really a big difference in the gameplay. And that's it. So, that's the basis of what you have to do. And it's not really hard. All you have to do is get your file from Trackmania of Car Park. Put it into your uh, directory for Car Common. And start playing I uh, hope the tutorial was helpful if it was uh, share it to uh, subscribe and like the video and and hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching see you guys in the next one